again everybody, Gakko here, uh, week nine for Eureka at Home and this week's theme is love or as the French say, l'amour. Uh, all you need is love. Love is a many splendid thing. Love, well love changes everything and love is all around us. And I've got two songs for you this week. The first one is a beautiful song, um, and it's a version of the classic love story, The Owl and the Pussycat, which was written by Edward Lear. It's a fabulous love story, all about two animals that go on a voyage. Um, and it's possibly the second most famous love story of all, after Romeo and Juliet. So I'm going to play this one on my ukulele. And the second song this week, because I'm doing two, because as this is the week of love, everything should come in pairs, I suppose. Uh, the second song is a music hall song, a bawdy song, all about unrequited love and somebody with a broken heart. And that's a song by an old music hall performer called Ernie Main. Um, I didn't see him performing the song, but I did learn it from one of my favourite acts that I love, which is an act called Cosmothica. But first, the owl and the pussycat on my ukulele, and it goes like this. Here we go. song is a song by an old music hall performer by the name of Ernie Main and Ernie Main uh, wrote this song and performed this song on the music halls which is an old form of variety entertainment and theatres well over a hundred years ago it's all about a man who's in love but that love isn't felt by the other person. So he's a broken-hearted man that can barely eat because he's so devastated. So it's called a fast patter song. That means there's lots of fast words in it towards the end. So good luck, Sophie. It's called Love, Love, Love. And it goes like this. Big step. 
not half a steak And I make no mistake Till I met Miss Blake Now my appetite's spent For she lives in my heart But she pays me no rent Lest I slip down the sink Love, love, love Look what it's done for me I eat no breakfast, I eat no dinner And every day I get thinner and thinner Waste not, want not And I'm wasting every day Wasting my Wasting my time till I'm wasting myself away. Now here's where it gets harder. Especially for Sophie who's doing the titles all across the bottom. Wish me luck. Here we go. Loving other words and intimate affection for a member of the feminine persuasion. Scrutinise the awful outfit it has brought to me. My matutinal reposits were neglected as for luncheon is my scorefully rejected Every day I'm more emaciated, more debilitated and more dolefully dejected Waste not and you will never come to one Yet in spite of that instructive book and what no anyone can see that I am wasting every day Wasting all my money, wasting all my time Wasting everything that I possess till it's absolutely certain I shall waste myself away One more time, alright then here we go Loving and the wit and intimate affection for a member of the feminine persuasion scrutinise the awful laughing in his brother me. Mama took no deposits while he left it as follows, this must go for the rejected every day. I'm more emaciated, more debilitated, and my dog will eat the jetty waste. But when you will never come to water yet, in spite of that, he's trying to live the mind of any more. Consider that I am wasting every day, every day, every day. I'm wasting all my money, wasting all my time, and wasting everything that I possess till it's absolutely certain I shall waste myself away. So there you are, this week's songs for Eureka at Home. Uh, they weren't my songs this time, they were um, other people's songs. And uh, it was nice to um, do two songs uh, that I love in the week that's all about love. And speaking about weeks, last week there was a competition for magic where I asked you if you could tell me how I magically made the 50p disappear. Well, a number of people guessed that I tucked it up my sleeve, uh, but I didn't do that because my sleeves were rolled up. Some people said it's just magic, which of course it is. But some keen eyed viewers did work out how the trick was done. And the first person to write the correct answer was um, Emily. So well done, Emily, you and your goodie bag and your free family pass, but also LOD and Madeleine, you guessed it as well. So I'm gonna make sure that you two get a, a goodie bag as well. Uh, I presume you live together so you can share. So how did I do it? The correct answer was, I did stick the 50p down my neck, down my collar, but it's all about distraction. I'll show you the trick one more time so you can learn it too. You always have the 50p in your right hand when you push it into your elbow, you always drop it the first time and everybody thinks you're being silly. Then you pick it up with your left hand, pretend 
to pass it into the right hand and while you're doing that you stick it down your neck because it's all about distraction and people won't see that unless you're Emily, Elodie or Madeline. And then when you open your hand the coin has gone. So that's how you do the magic trick and of course like anything you have to practice first to make sure you, you know how to do it. So that's this week's songs, that's the results of last week's competition. Thank you to, particularly this week, to Sophie from Eureka, who does all the graphics, the words at the bottom of the screen. Because uh, she's had her work cut out in this week's songs. And this week's competition is art. We know you're good at art because you all painted those beautiful rainbows. So how about you draw us a picture of that loving couple, the owl and the pussycat, spooning on the beach and getting married by that piggy wig. Uh, take a photograph of them. Put them in the comments below and the most romantic of all those pictures will win this week's goodie bag and a free family pass to Eureka when we're open again. So there you are. Hope you have a fabulous week until we see you all again next time. Bye.